full moon blessings be loved how is everyone feeling and doing today we got the full moon in aquarius it's a super moon super powerful super potent super close to the earth okay we got venus moving into leo okay so this is a beautiful energy of self love pouring into your cup remembering your worth leo is the sign of a royal tea okay legacy it has the spotlight it is the spotlight you know, the star of the show, okay? Leo is the most confident, okay? The king of the jungle, okay? So we all need to tap into that fiery medicine of Leo, okay? Knowing your worth, standing your ground, not being afraid to roar, okay? Okay? Some of y'all just need a roar or howl at the moon okay because this is a very powerful moon especially with that venus ingress okay into leo meeting up with the sun okay okay mm -hmm. and um yeah it's super moon it's super powerful a lot of saturnian energy so i want to be here to remind you to be soft with yourself okay be soft with yourself be soft with others okay just how you might be feeling the energy somebody else is feeling the energy okay um i already went into all the horoscopes people asking about your horoscope this is not that live i did it already two days ago it's on instagram it's on youtube okay youtube has um the timestamps in the description box where you could skip ahead to your sign but regardless of those facts what's popping steph Yes, can you feel the love tonight? Someone just got woken up out of the sleep. I feel that. I woke up really early today, really early, needing to meditate, okay? And I definitely feel that energy, okay? Take some time to do some deep breaths, some sound healing, okay? sound healing cleansing your space and i love that it's really raining a lot okay it's raining a lot all everywhere this is very cleansing energy i believe this is the last super moon of the year so it's one of the most powerful moons okay um of the year and aquarius energy is original it's different it's unlike any other so this full moon will be original different and unlike any other okay so i just want everybody to know also we're at that climax of the mars the uranus and the north node conjunction in taurus okay after this full moon we're not gonna feel that energy as intensely so we're all going to be able to take a nice, deep breath, okay? A nice, deep, energetic breath today. It's a full moon. If you want to do your own rituals today, I do recommend you working with fire, okay? Working with fire because it's a full, it's a fiery um, energy. We're in Leo season. So you might want to do a burning bowl ritual. You might want to do candle magic, a candle magic cleanse. You may want to smudge your house with frankincense and myrrh, with gopal, okay? With anything that's going to cleanse out the energy, okay? If you do want to take a bath, okay, I would suggest some, you know, mixing up some fiery and also calming herbs maybe some cinnamon okay maybe some lavender okay maybe some calendula i love working with that for that leo energy anything that's like yellow or orange you know marigold any energy like that get some flowers okay some fresh flowers as well I like to put um, magical oils and potions in my bath as well, like my blessings potion or anything like that. Um, but yeah, yes, chamomile as well would be really cool, really calming and chill. Um, you could put a little Florida water, of course, in your bath. Why not to cleanse that energy? yes speaking that intention into your water yeah i love magical bath bombs i'm definitely gonna probably use a bath bomb i have a honey a, a honey bath bomb like a honey um comb kind of bath bomb i will definitely be using 
Yes, this power, it's a very powerful, strong energy. It's a prompt to do the work, to show up for yourself, to cleanse, you know. And if you were with me for the new moon in Aquarius, we did a cord cutting. And, and I feel like if the cord was still a little bit attached to whatever you let go, this full moon, if you haven't let that go yet, it's going to literally be on that brink like you have to just let it go a lot of people were letting go of self-sabotage overeating um you know being critical of themselves some people are letting go of specific people or individuals okay um so yes that's really coming up if you didn't do the work if you didn't want to see your shadow if you kind of denied yourself that growth this full moon isn't going to let you you know settle for less anymore okay this full moon is going to awaken your spirit yeah if you were still a little bit attached yeah someone you said you did a camel a chamomile bath on sunday yeah you could do another one today they do recommend that we take our spiritual baths like frequently so you might do one every day for three days or one every day for five days so yeah you may want to do it again as well yes tell your loved ones that you love them that's very powerful because we are dealing with the energy of love okay it's leo season and nobody gonna love you like a leo Nobody's going to love you deeper than a Leo. Okay. What I want to do, this isn't going to go any lower. I'm going to have to stand up. I'm going to have to stand up. Or sit down. Okay. There we go. We all need this right now. Okay. We all need this right now. Close your eyes. Let's get it. Let it go. go of what doesn't serve you okay full moons are about seeing things clearly not with rose colored glasses but as they are accepting people as they are not trying to change people okay and if you're wanting to do a burning bowl ritual what i would recommend if you if you have a a cauldron or you have um a fireproof bowl okay i would write down whatever you want to release maybe feelings that you want to release people habits that you want to release write them down 
and then throw them into the fire maybe you want to burn other things in the fire too some people like you know you might burn what i'm seeing is like people burning herbs okay as well some people might want to burn like literal things if you have like a, a big fire pit or something like that outside doing it safely okay don't don't start a fire because full moons in fire signs they could like the fires could get out of control we don't want fires to go out of control okay i saw you say that um People having issues with the bay leaves because they don't burn all the way. You want to hold them with like a fireproof tong tongue of some sort, something that's going to clip it, but you don't have your hands on it. So that way you can hold it and you can let it burn. Just keep, you know, relighting it if you need to. A torch works wonders or even a light from a candle flame. I am so excited though. I have to tell you, I have some really cute... I splurged on some really cute candle holders that are arriving today. So I can't wait to create the altar. God willing, I'm going to do it outside. It was raining earlier, but now it's clearing up. Like, it's so beautiful outside. So most likely going to be doing the ritual outside, which is a lot. Because I got basically got to take everything outside, set it up, watch it all, and then take it all back inside. Okay, making sure that I don't bring any bugs from the outside inside listen it's a lot but i believe that the outside altars just it's, it's something different about it okay the energy just flows different i just love doing these outside i'm gonna do them as you know as long as i can god willing outside because it's just so magical and then when the winter comes again maybe you know the fire place in the house because you know it got cold out there okay but something about doing a ritual outside is just very very um very cleansing okay very very cleansing yes you went all over the city to gather your tools for tonight the witches are ready the witches are ready okay um so yeah i'm excited i can't wait to do the divine love activation venus moving into leo okay i'm gonna spend the day pouring that love into myself my family my son okay he's at camp right now but um when he comes home i just love him okay show gratitude for those that you love in your life okay saturn is here to remind us that we all have a time stamp we all have an exit date okay our time here is not forever we are you know divine spiritual beings going back somewhere okay after this so we have to really take advantage of our time in our vessel in being human okay realizing that our spirituality isn't meant to deny our humanness our human energy and all humans need that love okay that's what we are made of so do something loving for yourself do something loving for the people in your life okay glitching on my side but yeah speaking of the people i love my baby daddy just called me so i'm gonna call him back and see what he needs okay um i've been noticing a lot of people getting sick around this time too if you're feeling sick it could be um a sign just to slow down to rest okay and to relax sending you guys so much love and blessings okay um and i also have the full moon pick a card i have the full moon horoscopes for all the signs all it's all on youtube check it out make sure that you check the timestamp so you can skip ahead to your reading channel i'm so sorry to hear that i definitely feel feel the energy that saturnian energy is that father influence okay so we may need to you know pray for our fathers okay we may need to reach out to fathers baby fathers okay and all of those things step daddies and all of those things okay i love you all thank you for tapping in bye yeah it's big empress energy on youtube as well